sauerkraut time today. I'm going to be canning up some sauerkraut. Here's what one looks like already. Here's another one on sauerkraut. Got these out of the garden today. Got these out of the garden yesterday. Look, I'm getting uh, leaves on these uh, raspberry plants. Means pretty soon I can take them out in the yard and plant them. Yes. See them? All I've had them in this water for two weeks. And just change the water out, and that's it. That's all I do to it to make these raspberry plants. These are tomatoes we've been uh, getting out of the garden. By the Farmer's Almanac today, it says you can can sauerkraut August the 12th and August the 13th for Big Stone Gap. So I'm going to try it. Then after all you do is, after you shred your cabbage up the way you want it, is uh, have your sterilized jars and uh, spring water from the store and some salt. And that's it. And then you wait three or four weeks after you jar it up to uh, eat it. Maybe a month at the most. And you'll also need a little bit of vinegar to put in your jars. Vinegar and salt. That's all you need for your jars and some hot boiling water. And that's how you make your sauerkraut after you cut it up like this. And I'm hoping to make eight pints today. With these two cabbage heads I just cut up. This is Tanya's Home Cooking on YouTube. And you can also find me on Facebook at Tanya Marie Fugit. Thanks for watching. Please stay tuned and we'll have more recipes for you. Thanks.